Yes, boys, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has returned to AC Milan, and here he is, partnered up by Carlos Baca. This is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, now you might probably be saying that Menez won't get enough game time, but I assure you he will. He will always be coming on as a substitute, even in Bayern Yang once he gets back from injury. Now, I'm not looking to pick up any more players. I would like to pick up Kaká for sentimental value, bring him back to AC Milan, but if we don't have the funds for him, I won't. Only thing I really need right now is a left back to you know replace Antonelli every once in a while I want Van Gioni but we're gonna have to wait until after this game coming up in the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia against Udinese we are taking on Udinese at the San Siro and Ibra is returning for his first professional debut in front of the home fans that wanted him so much I wanted him so much in real life everybody wants him back at AC Milan and here he is so I'm going with the newly 80 Rated Donnarumma, Abate, Umtiti, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Sizoko, Benassi, Basuer, Bonaventura, Baca, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic for his first official debut with AC Milan. Welcome to the San Siro. Now this, I just want to see like the pre-match presentation for Ibra. I want to see if they focus their attention mainly on them. Uh, currently left in the Coppa Italia is us Udinese, Roma, Sampdoria, Genoa, Lazio, Inter and Juve. Sort of like, you know, what it was. There's Inter and Juve, but they're playing in the quarterfinals instead of the semifinals. And there he is, Latan. You saw him in the lineup. Player debut came in for 20 million euros plus Luis Adriano. We, we took him out of the squad. I honestly didn't use him besides some simulated games. Look at that. Ibra standing next to Gianluigi Donnarumma. There he is. I put him as captain. He's going to be captain for the rest of the season. You obviously saw my lineup. So let's kick this match off. Ibra getting his first touch of the ball. I expect big things from him. I paid so much money for him to bring him back. But he's finally back. And hopefully, he'll help the squad to bring in a Scudetto and maybe bring in this Coppa Italia. Watch this ball, Umtiti. Get there. Nicely done, Romagnoli. Let's get this to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Ibra to Baca. Baca, let's give this to Bazoer. Very nicely done, Bazoer to Giacomo Bonaventura. Bonaventura, give this back to Bazoer. Bazoer, try to give this to Bonaventura. Bonaventura, sending across. There's Ibra. Ibra with the header. Straight into the hands of the Udinese goalkeeper. Abate to Sizoko. Sizoko Baka. Baka turn. Give it to Ibra. Ibra to Marco Benassi. Benassi, let's finish this. Yes! Benassi nicely done. Ibra getting his first like opportunity. And he lays it off to Marco Benassi. Beautiful through pass to Benassi. And we just walked around the Udinese defense. Honestly, world class. I think I'm gonna switch next season, but they were so open. And Benassi with a calm little left-footed finish into the back of the net for his first goal in the Coppa Italia and 10 minutes into this match Ibra getting an assist and Benassi scoring and we are up 1-0 watch these passes watch these passes that's a nice cross into the middle Donnarumma what the hell are you doing Donnarumma took it with his feet what what is wrong with him goes to Di Natale Di Natale to Alfredsen with a shot that's Duvan Zapata very scary moment 1-0 a goal from Marco Benassi and we're up 1-0 hopefully we can put in another goal in the second half because I'm not secure with this 1-0 lead nice block Antonelli Bazoer to Menez Menez what are you doing Antonelli to Kushka Kushka no how in the world is this not going to my players here's Armero Armero to Fernandez Fernandez with the header and it's into the back of the net. How in the world did that, that, how did those fucking events transpire right there? What even happened? Fuck. Fernandez, how? He's like the shortest player on the pitch. Kushka cannot get it to Sizoko. It falls to Di Natale. Back to Armel. He like a stupid cross and Donnarumma cannot get to it. And I couldn't score a second goal because for some reason, nothing is happening on the other end of the pitch. And it's drawn level at 1-1 in the 87th minute. And the goalkeeper Carnezes picks it up and he's going to kick it out and we're going into extra time. Fernandez scored in the 87th minute. What are they doing? What kind of a play style is this? Donnarumma. Let's go. Send this to Ibra. Come on, Ibra. Get a nice touch. That was a poor touch by Ibra. Ibra give this to Sizoko. Very nicely done, Ibra. Sizoko to Kushka. Kushka, let's give it to Menez forward. Yes, Menez. Come on, four balls, Menez. Menez, yes. Jeremy Menez, 110th minute. He puts it into the back of the net. I placed him at striker. And he comes in and scores. Nice pass from Kushka. Nice through ball from Kushka. We don't deserve to be in the freaking second half of extra time. But it doesn't matter. Sizoko to Kushka. Kushka, nice pass to Menez. And Menez into the back of the net. And we are up 2-0. 
2-1. His fourth goal in the Coppa Italia. He is just killing it in the league and in the Coppa Italia. And we're up 2-1. And I'm going on ultra defensive because I want to hold this lead and not freaking concede. That's it. That's the end of this game. We pick up a 2-1 victory. Goal by Marco Benassi and Jeremy Menez. Ibra playing his first part in this game by giving an assist to Marco Benassi. Walks early here with a 7.5 rating. Very nicely done. And we are progressing on to the semi-finals of the Coppa Italia. For now, I'm not going to be making any signings. I think if we receive a transfer offer for somebody who I want to sell, I'll let him go, but I, I, I just don't have the money to purchase anybody. We receive an 11 million euro transfer offer for Mbai Niang from FC Augsburg, which I am going to go ahead and reject. Second game of this episode coming up against Inter Merda. Last time we lost versus them because, I don't know, in this game they're so stupid. But they're currently sitting third with 44 points and we're first with 50. Napoli has 21 games. We have 20 games. So if we pick up a victory here, we will move uh, five points clear of Napoli and we'll be sitting nicely at the top of the Serie A table. So let's jump into this match. So I didn't switch up the lineup too much. I'm going with Donnarumma, Abate, Umtiti, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Sizoko, Kushka, Bazoer, Bonaventura, and Bayaniang, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Like I said, we lost last time in FIFA, but in real life, we picked up a 3-0 victory here. So if I can recreate that and just destroy Inter, I would be so happy. But they're a very good side, so I really need to watch out in this game. Nice, Bazoer. Bazoer to Ibra. Ibra to Bayaniang. And Bayaniang to Kushka. Kushka, let's give it back over the top to Niang. Niang, let's try and have a shot. Niang still in the ball. Send it. Oh my goodness, I cannot get past this Inter defense. Come on, Niang, get there. Nicely done, Niang to Kushka. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Let's go, Sizoko. Sizoko, you know what? Let's have a shot by Sizoko. Sizoko with the long shot. Off the bar, Musa Sizoko. Decent effort. Here's Medel, Gary Medel trying to do something. That's a nice pass to Gustavo. Gustavo with the shot. Donnarumma with the save. Beautifully done. Romagnoli clear this. Nice save by Donnarumma. That's into the middle to Felipe Melo. Felipe Melo. But the referee is going to blow for halftime. Nil-nil. Big opportunities from both teams. We just need to capitalize on our chances and try to put one in in the second half. Romagnoli to Kushka. Kushka on the ball to Bonaventura, Bonaventura, let's give this to Niang, Niang to Ibra, here's Ibrahimovic, let's take this around, very nicely done, to, to Menez, okay, Menez, can he get on the end of that, heel flick, Menez try to, referee, are we gonna have a penalty, yes, oh my goodness, we're gonna get a penalty, Menez got taken down after he did the heel flick by Perisic, he was getting pulled all over the place, and yes, that was in the box, Here's Zlatan Ibrahimovic on the penalty. Come on, let's take this, Ibra. Let's go top right, Ibra. Let's go top right. Zlatan Ibrahimovic comes back and scores. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 77 minute. It's a penalty. Doesn't really matter. It's been coming. He, he took like one or two shots already. Got freaking robbed by the post. And now he puts this one into the back of the net on the penalty. Who was drawn by Jeremy Menez. And we are up 1-0. Beautiful strike. On the penalty by Ibra scoring his first goal, hopefully first goal of many, uh, of many, and we are up 1-0 in the 78th minute. Come on, Ibra, take this off. Yes, nicely done, Ibra. Let's fire this, Ibra! The save by Hanzanovic, and now we have a corner coming up in the 90th minute. Let's just send this into the middle. Bonaventura's there. Let's try and get this to Antonelli, but it's blocked by Inter and Niang. They're just going to... Push it upfield, Abate. Nicely done, Abate, to Menez. Menez to Zlatan. Zlatan, let's try and turn on Davide Santan. Let's go. Use whatever speed you have. Hold it here, Ibra. Let's try and take something, Ibra. Let's take a shot, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Into the back of the net, Zlatan. Beautifully done. Nice pass from, I think that was Menez. And Zlatan just skilled his way around everybody. Avoids the challenge from Santan. Nice skill moves here around Miranda. And then the shot for post. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is back with his second goal in this game. Second goal of the season, 90th minute. We are up 2-0 against Inter Merda. And we are winning. And we are going to pick up three points. The referee blows for full time. And we win here in front of our home fans at the San Siro. 2-0, three points, two goals from Ibra. And we walk out of here with a victory. Now, you guys have been suggesting me some players. I know I saw Obama Yang. Now, something I want to address. I don't have that much money, and I, I don't want to sign another striker right now. I have Ibra, Baka, Balotelli, Niang, and Menez, who usually plays at striker. I want to keep this as realistic as possible. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to try for Vangioni. I don't know how I'm going to get the funds for him. 
But uh, you, because it is realistic. He's somebody that I think we're getting at the end of the season. Kaká was just for sentimental value. El Gazzi maybe next season. But I'm going to try for Vangioni right now. I know like you guys want me to sign these crazy players. I know, I know career modes, like, some not supposed to be realistic, but I want to keep it realistic. Now I'm going to ask them for 10 million to win the league title and reach the final. See what they say. Maybe they'll give me the, some more money just so I can buy a player. Let's advance one hour into this transfer window, and I'm probably not going to get the funds that I asked for. And with one hour left, they didn't give me the funds that I asked for, but the transfer deadline day has ended, and I think this team is good enough to make me win the league title. And let's go look at our, my youth squad monthly report. I have a left back over here, Alessandro Benati, who I might want to call up. Actually, I have Christian Rijo. He's 57 overall. He's 5'3", but once you promote him, he becomes like his actual height. So I'm going to offer him a contract. He'll be like uh, just a, a rotation future first team player left back that maybe might play sometimes when Antonelli is really tired. He's 57 overall. He's not that bad, but just, you know, for cover for Antonelli because he is going to be playing every single game now because we only do have one left back. So I've changed only one training. I've put Riggio on one-on-two -on defending. So let's simulate this new training in the month of February. Donnarumma gets a C and a B. Romagnoli an A. Capuano a B. And Riggio a D. Third and final game of this episode coming up against Palermo away from home. And Palermo are currently in 17th place with 21 points after 21 games. So let's jump into this match and see if we can keep up this run of form that we're on. And pick up another three points and further ourselves from Napoli. So here's my rotated lineup. Donnarumma, Abate, Tonelli, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Suzo, Benassi, Bertolacci, Menez, Baca, and Mario Balotelli. Jeremy Menez has eight goals in the Serie A. And I'm resting Ibra because he, he was tired from the game before. But I think Balotelli and Baca can do very good this game. I would like to play Baca and Ibra. But we're going to have to settle for Balotelli. And Niang was also very tired from last game. To Jeremy Menez. Let's take this, Menez. Let's take this, Menez. You know what? Take this yourself. Since nobody else is doing anything, Menez is just going to casually run run around everybody let's take it far post Menez and it's off the bar Menez come on Balotelli come on recover this nicely done Balotelli into Antonelli Antonelli pushes forward let's try and cross it in it's blocked by Giagiallo and now we we have a corner let's take this with Bertolacci Bertolacci in the middle who's in there come on Sorrentino comes out and punches it and Menez is fucking injured Menez is fucking injured once again are you kidding me with this fucking game Bonaventura is coming on to replace him Menez is injured off that corner. What in the world happened? He went for the ball and Sorrentino punched him. And now he's out. Hopefully he's not out for long. And I see. Get this to Baca. Baca try and turn. Let's have a shot. Baca. Baca. Far post. Beautiful. Beautiful strike by Carlos Baca. Outside the box. I think that was just outside the box. I'm not really sure what happened there. I, I completely forgot. Nice pass by Abate, I think that was. No, that was Benassi to Baca. Baca from outside the box. Far post and into the back of the net. Carlos Baca. I think that's his first goal outside the box like ever in his whole career. Seven goal in the city. And we are up 1-0, 49 minutes into this match. Wait, what just happened? No, how did they have a penalty? How in the world did Palermo get a penalty? Donnarumma made the save and then he went out. What just happened? He, no, he slid, but because he got in the way, oh my god, Donnarumma has to come up big here, please, Gilardino on the ball, Gilardino is going to shoot, straight down the middle, and Palermo tie it, in the 82nd minute, Gilardino scoring against his former club, Donnarumma just had to stay down the middle, that was my fault, I couldn't, oh my god, I couldn't guess right, 83rd minute, we're drawn level. Nicely done, Romagnoli. Nicely done. Come on. Come on. We still have time. Let's go. Bertolacci. Bertolacci. That's not who I gave it to. That is not where I gave it. This game is so fucking stupid. Stupidest penalty in the world. And we walk out of here with a draw against fucking 16th place Palermo. This game is bullshit. Thank God Menez is only going to be out for nine days. He only suffered a bruised shoulder. And Christian Rijo has accepted his contract. Let's go give him a number because he's probably going to have number three. They always give them freaking number three. Actually, he has number two. You know what? He's De Chilio's replacement. Let's go check out his stats. Let's go see if he'll be a decent option at left back. Let's go see. He's 5'10". He can play left back and center back. Nicely done. Uh, decent sprint speed. Decent jump. Jumping, decent stamina, decent strength, nice sliding and stand tackling, two-star skill moves, two-star weak foot. So he could be a decent option in the future. Let's go see what his status is. Maybe showing great potential. Maybe he'll be 
over 80 once he becomes his full rating. Let's go check him out right away. Let's go see what he is. Christian Rijo just says at the club since 2016. So uh, I'm going to simulate a few more days and I'm going to be simulating this final game coming up against Udinese. So I'm going with Donnarumma, Batum, Titi, Capuano, Antonelli, Sizoko, Kushka, Bazoer, Bonaventura, Niang, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Sizoko picking up a yellow card in the second minute. I'm going to simulate all the way to the end. And we pick up a 2-1 victory. Goals by Bazoer and Giacomo Bonaventura. And Sizoko gets a red card. And we pick up another three points. I know it's simulated, but I at least want to simulate one game an episode. Just to make the series a bit quicker. And we finish this episode with 57 points. Napoli 52. And we have one game in hand on them so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time do it do what just do it okay do what do it subscribe to our channel whoa calm down there shia just do it also follow us on twitter at the nobs yt just do it